OK, so let's see an example of the trapezium rule for core 4. Now, in this situation, you're going to be given an integral. So it's not the fact um, you're not going to be given a diagram necessarily. OK, so what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to have a quick think about what that looks like. Um, but we're not going to need to think about what the shape looks like at all the time. OK, because obviously, you know, if you were doing this um, in a real life situation and you needed to estimate the integral, um, you need to be careful with the shape of the curve um, to really think about kind of what uh, size trapeziums you're using, OK? So very briefly, we're going to have a think about what e to the 2x looks like. We should know what it looks like. OK, so e to the 2x will look something like this, going through 1. And we are integrating this between minus 2 and 3, OK? So we know that actually we could work out the exact area uh, between minus 2 and 3, but we're going to find um, an estimate using the trapezium rule. So, the trapezium rule says that the area is 1 half times h times the first plus the last plus 2 times the rest. Okay? Now we need to work out what the first, last, and 2 times the rest are. The first thing to do, however, is to work out your strip length, h. So h is equal to b minus a over n. Now what that means is it's the top number in your integral, the top limit. Take away the bottom one, divided by the number of strips, which in this case is 5. So 3 take away minus 2 is 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. So h is 1. So that means we're actually splitting it up into minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. OK? So those are the ordinates, x ordinates. Now, it would be useful to draw yourself a little table. Um, so we've got the x values and the e to the 2x values. OK, so we're starting at minus 2. We've got minus 1, 0, 1, 2, and finally 3. So they're your x-ordinates. You've got the y-ordinates, so that'd be e to the minus 4, e to the minus 2, e to the 0 is just 1. Then you've got e to the 2, e to the 4, and e to the 6. Now, I wouldn't write those out in decimal form at this stage. OK, it's going to be too messy. So, and it's easier then to substitute them straight in because we've got one half times h, so one times the first, which is e to the minus four, plus the last, which is e to the six, plus two lots of the rest, so e to the minus two, plus one, plus e to the two, plus e to the four. Okay? So we have e to the minus 2 plus 1 plus e to the 2 plus e to the 4. You're then going to times that by 2. So that currently gets us 126.2. Then add on e to the 6. Then add on e to the minus 4. And then you want to times it by a half. So divide by 2. And that gets you 264.846096. OK? So to three significant figures, that's 265. OK? And that is the estimate for our error.